Hello, this is Wendy Kleiber, live from Oaks Christian High School, and I'm here to tell you just a couple of things that I recently found out about Canvas and Google. Pretty darn cool stuff. First thing I want to do, though, is in my um, Canvas account, I want to go to my account, and what I need to do is I need to sync Google Drive with my account. So I'm going to go to Settings, and you're going to notice that there are some services that you can connect your account with um, Canvas. So look over here on the right hand side, you notice, aha, Google Drive. So what I'll do is I'll select Google Drive and I'm going to authorize Google Drive to have access so I can, or I can access it within my Canvas account. And it's in the process of uploading that right now. Here we go. So I'm going to allow that access. Now one recommendation is make sure when you're in your Windows browser that you are logged into the proper Google account. You want to be logged into your Oaks Christian. Google account. Great, now I've successfully linked it. So let me show a couple cool things that it does. So I am going to go to my calculus, this is my calculus page with my assignments. And I am going to create an assignment. Now wherever you have a rich content editor, this is called the rich content editor, this bar here. Um, for example, many times you're going to see this in quizzes or pages or files and such. If you notice this V-like thing, it's more external tools. So Google is considered an external tool. And you'll notice here now, I have a Google app drive icon. And what this enables me to do is any document, spreadsheet, or slide that I have in my Google Drive, I can connect to the place where I have a Google rich content editor. Now my Wi-Fi seems to be a little slow, so I'm waiting for my Google apps to load. To be honest with you, I'm sitting at car at Starbucks on a nice sunny day listening to the water fountain. Here we go. So here are my um, folders. Now, Google, I can only connect an item that is a Google document. So like, for example, if I clicked on my advisory folder, you'll notice this icon symbolizes Google Docs, whereas these icons symbolize items I've uploaded to my Google Drive that have not yet been converted to one of the Google apps. So I'm going to take this item here, and I can either embed the item into the assignment page, or I can select link, which will put the link directly to this Google Doc, which I'm going to do. Now, the one thing you have to be careful of is prior to connecting this link to your Google assignment, you want to adjust the share settings so that anyone with the link can either view the document, probably view in the setting, because you don't want your students changing your docs. Um, and then you give it normal points assignment and so forth. So if this was a worksheet, then the students would have access to that worksheet and they would be able to complete it. So now if I save this assignment, oh, I forgot the name. Let me see, this is just gonna be a fake assignment. So I don't want my students to be like, ah, oh, Ms. Clarber, we didn't know we had that due today. Okay, come on, baby. Okay, great, now it is done. So now when students go to this assignment, they can select this link and it'll take them directly to that worksheet or document. The beauty of this is, does this happen to you where you'll upload documents from files from the previous year and then you make changes to them? So now you've got to upload a new file. Well, now every time you make changes in your Google Drive, it will automatically, of course, update this link so you no longer have to hassle with that. This is available anywhere a rich content editor is available. So for example, in quizzes, um, on pages, on files, you can now send links to Google Docs. Amazing. Okay, next thing I want to show you is let's say I have an assignment and I want students to actually um, create the assignment within Canvas. So for example, I'm gonna start a new assignment for my advisory class. And let's say that I want, I want them to complete a, fo a form like their permission slip. So this is gonna be another fake assignment. And what I'm going to ask my students to do, oh, I didn't mean to say that, let's go back to edit. So what I'm going to do in the assignments is I'm actually going to, the submission type is going to be an external tool. And I'm going to go to find, and I'm going to look for that Google badge, badge again. So I scroll down, scroll down. Woo, there's a lot of things. Google Docs Cloud Assignment, excellent. This will take me to my Google Drive. Now I'm going to look for what I want my students to complete. So for example, maybe I want them to complete their off-campus permission slip. So I'll say submit. And then I have to say select. Don't forget that select button right there. And I'll go ahead and save this assignment now. 
Okay. Now check this out. This is so cool, especially if my if I was not a math teacher, because now the students can directly notice I've directly typed in here. The students can type in this document and complete it right there within the Canvas assignment. So my name is Olivia, and here's my teacher's name, and I can just keep completing this. Now, when the student is logged in, there will be a green button up here that says Submit. So once they select Submit, it will be sent to you in your Canvas account, and you can grade it through SpeedGrader. And for the student, it will make a copy of that document into their Google Drive folder for your class. Amazing. So I am so excited about this option. Well, I'd be more excited if it wasn't math because math's a little hard to write on the screen. So it really works more if they have a type of tablet where they can write. But pretty cool, huh? Okay, now the last thing I want to show you is collaborations. So let's say I was in my calculus course and I want to create a collaboration. So for example, my students right now are beginning a beauty of math project. And what I can do now is I can start a new collaboration and um, we are going to do the collaborate using Google Apps. Now the reason why I'm selecting Google Apps is my students will be creating a Google slideshow presentation for this. Um, so I'm going to select presentation and I'm going to name it beauty of math. And let's say that they are, um, their Beauty and Math project is on the housekeeper and the professor. That is a book. It's a beautiful book. Okay. And now I'm going to put a group. Now I created this group ahead of time just to save time. But let's say I'm going to have this group be in this collaboration. So what's great about this now is it's similar to Google Classroom in that every student who I assigned to this group now has access to a Google slide to collaborate on, and I have access to it. So if I select on this link then, it will take me to the Google slideshow that these three students have been working on, and I can edit, I can make comments, well I won't edit, but I can make comments for them. And then also, it's all put into my Canvas account, which I really love. Now if you need more information, or want to find out more how to do some of these things, to be honest with you, I just read a few of the Canvas guides. Canvas Guides, basically, if you go to your Google Drive and select Canvas Guides, the first thing that will t pop up here is Canvas Guides for the Canvas community. And in the search box, you can either just go to the Instructor Guides, but basically, I would just say Google. And you're going to find all of these documents where I got my information right here. How do you create a Google Docs collaboration, edit a Google Docs, and etc. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do.